Hey guys, it's Ryder here with my Arrow Season 4 Episode 22 review. This is the second to last episode before the big season finale next week. Uh, once again, I, I'm, I don't think this episode was bad. I actually enjoyed this episode. Probably even a bit more than last week, but I'm going to have to say it again. I don't think this is the proper build-up for a season finale. It doesn't feel like there's enough build-up for next week to be the ultimate season finale. It's either that... Or it's just not a great story this season, uh, especially with Damien Dark. And I don't really understand his purpose now. You know, I understand now he's out for revenge, all of that. But it just, his, his arc as a villain seemed very, very weak to me. Very weak. Um, and we'll, we'll talk more about that, but, you know, slightly I'm a bit disappointed with season four. I'll, I'm going to say that. Um, and, you know, we're, we'll see what happens next week. You know, we know that Oliver's going to be getting some huge, massive help from some unknown force. You know, who knows what that could be. Could that be the Flash? Uh, could that be, like, Zatanna? Maybe Constantine? Is it the question? Is it somebody completely new that we haven't met yet? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Birds of Prey? I have no idea. But, you know... I, we know something big is going to happen next week. We also know it's supposed to leave us on this massive cliffhanger. So it, it sounds like it's going to be a great episode, but just this one could have used a bit more build-up, I think. So let's kind of get into this uh, episode of Top 5 Moments from the brand new episode, starting right now with number 5. Oliver Gets Back Thea. So, of course, Thea's kind of been mind-controlled by, you know, with the, the pill and everything. Um, but... You know, Oliver kind of brings her back. He kind of gets her back on, her, you know, his team. Malcolm's now working again with Oliver and Green Arrow and Spartan. Um, and, you know, the Green Arrow and Spartan, they're Oliver and Dig. They are in uh, Genesis, the, the city. And there's this whole thing um, where, you know, Ruve Adam wants the people, the citizens of Genesis to kind of kill the vigilantes, whatever. There's this whole thing. But, you know... Uh, just Genesis as a whole, I kind of wanted to talk about. It seems interesting, uh, the whole concept. I don't know, though. I don't know about it. it it's just kind of iffy, in my opinion. Um, but, of course, it does get blown up by the end of the episode. And there's this now big thing. It's pissed off Damien Dark. We'll talk about it in a little bit. But now we just wanted to let everybody know Thea is now back on Oliver's side. And I think that's going to play a big role next. I mean, it was kind of inevitable. But it's I'm glad that they didn't do any weird twist where it's like Thea versus Oliver in the season finale. So I think that was the right move. Moving on to number four. We're actually going to talk about the flashbacks. I haven't really talked about the flashbacks all season. Um, but I want to touch upon the flashbacks now, mainly because they actually are starting to get a bit interesting. They've been kind of, uh, blah, nothing really special, nothing really like, oh, wow, like they've been the last three years, uh, two years, really. Um, but I, I, I wanted to talk about it now because I think this could play a role into season five. So this is Diana, the woman, the, the Russian woman who's kind of been with Oliver throughout the whole season. Uh, she has, she kind of accidentally takes in the power of the, the big dark idol, right, that Damien Dark currently has. And yeah, so she's kind of evil and dark now. Um, but I don't know. I think it's interesting that maybe if hopefully she survives and she's somewhere in Russia, um, she might end up dying, but I kind of feel like she'd be an interesting villain for next season. Um, if Because we, we think, as of now, everyone's thinking that Oliver's going to Russia. Um, but, you know, when he goes to Russia, I think we're assuming that she that he's going to bring Diana with her, but uh, with him. But I don't know. I'm kind of wondering how that's all going to go down. It seems a, leg, seems a little bit iffy, once again, but... I, I definitely do think that there is a possibility for her to be a villain next season. I'd actually be interested to see if that actually ends up happening. Uh, she seems like an interesting character um, and someone who maybe could shape Oliver in a different way. So we'll see where that goes. Moving on to number three. The Calculator and Felicity take down Rubicon. Um, I, I'm not going to criticize it because obviously you guys are going to... You, know, you already know what I'm going to say. This episode, a bit too heavy, once again, Felicity. Felicity wasn't even really helping Oliver. 
um, or Dig, she had a completely other separate story with Curtis. Curtis was the only thing that actually made that enjoyable. Um, Curtis, he's a, he's a really great character. Can't wait for him to become Mr. Terrific. But Felicity's got this whole thing with her mom and her dad. And, I mean, her mom, Donna Smoke's kind of been annoying the shit out of me lately. Jeez, uh, I thought she was supposed to be this really fun character. Now she's like, ooh, I signed a contract and I can be in any episode I want. Woo! Yeah! Um, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Felicity kind of cleans all that crap up with her family. And she stops Rubicon, um, which is obviously helpful in that sense. But, you know, I really didn't give a shit that much. I don't think they needed... The, they spent maybe a bit too much time on that. Like, I get it, it was very important, but at the same time, maybe they, they just spent a bit too much time. But Rubicon's been, is done now, which is obviously the missile program, and uh, now it's, you know, of course, Genesis is being blown up. Moving on to number two. Anarchy kills Ruve Adams. So this is huge. Uh, we know Anarchy's kind of been lurking around Genesis trying to kill Damien Dark. So, of course, he takes uh, control of the main control, t you know, center of Genesis. Also takes Ruve Adams and Damien Dark's daughter. Has them all chained up. To make a long story short, Team Arrow comes in here. And they're like, Anarchy! And he's like, Mommy! And he's being all weird and creepy to Thea. Because he thinks Thea's his, like, mother. Not, not his real mother, but his, like, the Anarchy version of him. That's, like, he, he calls her his... The Anarchy's mother, because she kind of made him who he was. But, uh, he, he's a little bit of a creep, but I gotta be honest, I think he's one of the better villains that we've seen on the show. Um, he definitely, in my opinion, falls in the category of, uh, Deathstroke, uh, Brother Blood, um, I'd say even Malcolm. He is one of the better villains we've seen on the show, and I like how he's, he's not in every episode, um, but he's in the the right amount to make him an interesting villain. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't die uh, next or next week. And if he does die, he dies. But you know, I think there's definitely room for him to become an even more crazy villain. I think he also has a lot to offer against Thea. Um, but he he kills Ruve and stabs her. Um, and, you know, the whole Genesis kind of comes down on top of her. Uh, Green Arrow is able to pick up Damien Dark's daughter, save her daughter, save his daughter, but Ruve Adams dies. And, of course, this is what really pisses off Damien Dark. And uh, now that Genesis is gone, moving on to number one, Damien Dark wants to see the world burn. So... He's going to let it burn. He's going to completely destroy it, probably with missiles, probably with all his crazy magic. Uh, and he'll be the most powerful person in the world. Um, and also, the, the other kind of half of this moment is he goes, he kind of breaks into um, Felicity and Oliver's like apartment place. And he takes, or he, it seems like he's going to take control of Curtis. Or not to take control, but kind of keep hostage of Felicity, Curtis, and Donna. Uh, so this is a big deal. Now, you know, he's kind of has leverage on, um, on Team Arrow, right? Green Arrow. I'm going to put my money on it that Donna Smoke gets killed. I will. I think that's going to happen. Uh, it seems like it's going to happen. I think that would actually send uh, Quentin Lance in the right direction also. Because then he'll, he, he will feel like he's lost everybody. Um, which might lead him down a darker path, which could be interesting for Season 5. Also, I think this could maybe separate and distance Felicity a bit more from the team. Truly, I, I really want to see the whole Felicity and Oliver thing done. I hope they get the cue for Season 5. Um, this episode was good, I guess. Uh, not one of my favorites, but it wasn't one of the worst. Um, you know, it's had, it had its moments like it always does, but... You know, I was, I'm just, you always expect more, like The Flash, I just did my Flash review, they really set up what's going to happen next week, they left us with this big cliffhanger, this big thing, and I'm even have to go and jump over to Marvel, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. just uh, aired their season 3 finale uh, a few days ago, but last week, the episode before the season finale, they really set up what was going to happen in the finale. Arrow, in my opinion, has failed to do that. Even Legend of Tomorrow did that, which, by the way, new episode tonight, season finale. I'll be doing my review probably tomorrow, so make sure you are subscribed to get that. Let me know your thoughts on Arrow Season 4, what you're expecting from the finale, and what you're looking forward to most for Season 5. Truly, I know this is going to sound hard to believe, I am so looking forward to Season 5. Briefly, just really, really quick, I don't want to get into a whole other conversation, but... 
I'm looking forward to it so much because I know that I somehow I know they will be making the right decisions. Uh, I know that this the season five is going to really shape everything up because I think they got the cue after Laurel's death. I think they have an ultimate plan. I think they're going to have a better villain. I hope they will. And um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting some of these new characters that we keep hearing about. So let me know your thoughts on all of that. I'm Ryder, Senator from Toys with Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.